Hello, hello, my wonderful collectives. Welcome to my channel. This is Lava. Good to see everybody and welcome the guests of my channel as well. If you're new, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Okay, my wonderful collectives, let's do another reading for you. What should you look forward to? Changes in your life. Let's take a look what major changes are going to take place in your life. Changes in your life. I have set ambition, ambition, narcissism, prince of avarice. Okay, narcissist. You could have, you could have actually uh, been through some sort of uh, narcissistic games, or maybe you were dealing with a narcissism individual that is over ambition. But I feel like you yourself becoming healthy narcissist. And I'm not saying it in the wrong way. It's a positive thing, okay? Healthy narcissism. You finally to choose, put your desires and your wishes ahead of other people, okay? So uh, that is definitely uh, something that you should be proud of to put and prioritize your own interest ahead of others. There's nothing wrong with healthy narcissism. Now, uh, let's clarify it. Let's take a look. Clarified, what is this card represents? Ambition. You feel ambition. Ambition, right? So you I feel like you you conquer one thing and then you're gonna go ahead and conquer something else. Right? So this is all about your personal growth and also financial growth. You truly become ambitious and becoming that healthy narcissist in a positive way. Not in a negative way. So let's clarify what it is. <clears throat> Uras. Wisdom. Physical strength. Speed. Untamed potential. I feel like you have so much potential. And you're not going to tame yourself. You're going to allow that internal fire. That power that is within you. To, to really lead your way in life it's about energy energy health freedom action courage strengths understanding and wisdom that that's what is coming to you now and if it didn't happen yet then be sure that this is going to happen okay i feel like you, you're finally starting to understand your inner potential you understand and learn how to value yourself have to be strong and be independent okay so this is the major changes here i would not be surprised if the cards of wealth stability and independence will come through so please clarify what is this um, new beginnings in your life what are these new beginnings in your life look at that emperor power powerful solid foundation in your life you could be masculine you could be feminine doesn't matter emperor is all about having a solid foundation that you can actually jump off from emperor not depending on anybody you are independent here strong even though if you are a feminine that watching this then you have and possess a lot of qualities of a masculine. Such as, like I said, strength, courage, and independent. You, you cannot be broken. You're unbrokeable. You are unbrokeable. I feel like before you become this healthy narcissist and, and truly dive in deep within your soul to find that powerful energy, which, which often taken place throughout the time, the time of learning and um, assessment of your past. Uh, but I feel like the way you become costs you a great price. Now, what you had to go through, what you had to go through to become who you are today, to become this powerful and ambitious person, what you had to go through. Let's, I quickly go into uplift your past what happened what 
what happened. Six of Cups here in reverse. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it's it's aggression. You you realized you realized potentially was a conflict of some sort of female here. Female that was very aggressive towards you. Another female here I constantly see that try to break you. Try to break you. Maybe by six of cups could have been some sort of connection in your past, okay? In your past, trying to um disorganize your internal comfort. You know, that yin and yang. Some sort of female here. Female, very aggressive, demanding, dramatic, jealous, deceitful. Pushy. There's some sort of female here. Okay? Female that interfered in your life. And that's when you learn how to stand up for yourself. Now, this female, she comes up as a fire sign. You are an emperor. Come on. What match there is. But I feel aggression, constant aggression of this female to break, um, break your life. Because the knight of wands is a uh, knight of so uh, swords. is something quick, happens so quickly, constantly, right? Clever. So she utilized some sort of techniques, techniques to, with attempts to destroy your peace. And she potentially is still trying to do the same thing, but it's not working out here. It's not working out because as time goes by, you become stronger. And I mean, emperor is a, is a clear definition of your foundation. She cannot overpower you or overthrow you of your throne. Okay, so this female in particular uh, was placed in your life to make you a healthy narcissist, to make you realize your internal potential. Because Emperor knows how to utilize their energy, his energy. Okay, but there's definitely aggression of some sort of female. Now, why did this female, why did this female interfere in your past? Why so much aggression from this fire sign female? She could be a businesswoman. She could have a business. She, At the end of the day, she has some sort of want. Look at that. The devil card. Toxicity, anger, negativity, manipulations, lies, hatred, destructions. This person wanted to destroy your life. Obsession. Obsessions. Like she, you herself as uh, a businesswoman, I should say. Because often by the fire sign females, we do have an individual who holds some sort of authority or a want. But she was obsessed with destroying your life. She brought a lot of darkness. Why? Why is this individual interfered? Why is this female interfered? Manipulations. Manipulation, hidden manipulation, three of swords. With intentions to break your heart, to restrain you, to detain you, to make you stuck. She was also responsible that some masculine walk away from you, fire sign. So this is uh, might well be uh, a fire sign female. She doesn't have to. She's just showing me her energetic approach. Okay, energetic approach um, of destroying your life. And she is the reason why some person... By king, by a king of wands walked away from you. She restrained your life. She wanted you to suffer. She wanted you to suffer. I feel like it was because of some sort of masculine. I have here breaking broken heart. I have pain. I have suffering. I have dirty games. I have manipulations. So you know what? On another hand, you should be thankful. You should be thankful to this woman. Okay, to this toxic, evil, lying, cunning female. Because she contributes to who you become. She contributes to who you are today. And look at that. Full card, new beginning. New beginning. New you. New you. And there will be a time, if not already, 
we're going to tell this person, thank you. Thank you for putting me on a path that I always meant to be. Thank you for showing me my inner potential. Because she pretty much, she tried to throw you out of one path. And I'm assuming this path was some, some, uh, some sort of masculine. And you're like, okay, no problem. <laughs> no problem. I'm going to fall now my own path. And you did. And look, and this path is going to bring you towards your wish fulfillment. She did you, in fact, a favor. She did you a favor. Yes, she was responsible for some masculine to walk in away from you. Some sort of very toxic, lying person. Lying female who utilized lies and destructions and wanted you to suffer. Maybe because of her manipulations, cunning techniques, clever techniques, the masculine have walked away. Because I have Kinko once and I have Page of God. He didn't want it to walk away, okay? He might have not wanted it to walk away because I do have a here three of swords, okay? It's a broken heart. It's, it's a painful situation. It's a situation where you, for the longest time, Felt like you stuck, right? She she restrained you. She restrained you. But you did not take in that time of restraint, the time of pain and suffering, not to evolve and grow. Because through pain, like I already mentioned, you become who you are today. And often the karmics, such as this female who cross your path, has a specific job. And their job is to shape who you are. <clears throat> Again, fire sign comes up here. Definitely a fire sign. This is this female could be a fire sign. This female could be also a fire sign. So she's she's a manipulator. Okay, she's a narcissistic manipulator. I still don't understand what was this whole reason besides the fact that she's highly toxic and obsessive person by the devil. She is a liar. She is a gossiper. She's jealous. She's angry. She uh, thinks she's above everybody else. So there's a sense of unhealthy narcissism. Like you, you are a healthy narcissist. You're thinking about yourself, but you do not walk on people's heads and decide somebody else's destiny. You actually rule by wisdom. That's why you are an emperor. Unlike a queen, a once. She is an unhealthy sociopathic narcissist. But I still don't understand what was this whole reason of why this fire sign female, she could be Aries Leo Sagittarius, she could be a mother or a boss. Why did she um, had so much hatred towards you? What is the reason? Can you please tell me what is the reason of why this fire sign female did what she did against you because fire sign masculine here walked away he was looking back because he wasn't sure he, he might have did not wanted it to do that but i feel like the cunning manipulation of this fire sign female he kind of had no choice that's what i feel i feel like he was tricked manipulated there's a lot of lies here entrapment seven of swords okay on her part she's a psychotic toxic person toxic so why, why exactly did she do what she did? Tell me. She's a copycat. Okay, I have copycat here. I have wiretap. Ex lover. Mm -hmm. Fake accounts online. Okay, okay. So this is something to do with the past. Ex lover. Ex lover that may might have created fake accounts online about you. Maybe she was responsible to creating a fake accounts about you. Something to do with ex, okay? I do feel like right now, um, somebody here who could be your ex lover is now wiretapped and busted for having and operating some sort of fake accounts about you. So it still continues on still continues on and this is going to be a surprise to this individual i have addictions 
unhealthy attachments, some sort of sick attachments towards you. I have separation, divorce. Maybe it was an issue of separation, divorce. I have protection order. I have why. I have karmic third party here involved. So they're all they're all from from your past and I feel like these karmics from your past, all these people that are copycat or trying to copy who you are, having these catfishing accounts, there is a cyber forensic investigation, right? They're wiretapped. They're wiretapped. Whatever. So um, cyber forensic, I feel like they're going to be investigated. Like I mentioned earlier, without doubt here, the star here and uh, the emperor and the new beginning, they only, like I said, did you a favor. Now, let's clarify, what is this uh, cyber forensic investigation? Like, what is this about? What is this cyber forensic investigation here? Uh, Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, cyber forensic investigation. Um, lack of skill, group conflict. A group of people that were not qualified to do something, but they did it, did it anyway. Okay? Uh, investigation in regards whether or not this community... This corrupt community initially was competent and qualified to do what was done against you. Because there's definitely here corruption. Clarify three of pentacles. Something here that they've been doing against you. Clarify three of pentacles. Floss and embrace your flaws. Karma, cross, meaning difficult situation. These people just, they cannot let go. Florencing investigation of this psychopathic corrupt community that simply cannot let go of you. They can't let go of you. I have water signs. Some water sign cannot let go of you, maybe. I have psychological assessment. They're crooks. Like I said, what is being right now investigated in regards of this corrupt female corrupt female who could be like i said by the empress in a position of some sort of authority she could be in a position of some sort of authority why was psychological assessment potentially done against you by somebody who was not initially even qualified because i do have here some sort of psychological assessment and water sign or maybe a water sign is being psychologically assessed due to the fact that they cannot let go clarify the psychological assessments so the thing is that there are going to be promotions under the table. <laughs> oh, man. Somebody here wanted a promotion under the table. Some water sign they're showing me here. Corrupt water sign, wanted promotion, fucked up, said something. Because there's there's a documents here. What is being investigated here by Three of Pentacles is some sort of corrupt documents that was signed, fabricated by some sort of water sign person who was not even qualified and was only thinking about their own promotions. Okay, promotions under the table. Clarified promotions under the table. Clarify promotions under the table. Concern. Ah, this person is right now concerned, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, money here. Unexpected income, of course. Bad health, great fortune. These people want it and will be brought to justice. These fake corrupt people that was, like I said, written something down here about you, documented. They will be brought to justice. I, these fakes are will be brought to justice. Now, this fire sign could, could be a red hat or had cherry burgundy hair at one point. Uh, like a reddish, kind of like exactly like this car show. Same kind of hair color, okay? And I see ending here. Ending. There's an ending here. An official person masculine here that also was responsible. There is a corrupt person that was supposedly mature male. They're showing me some sort of male, female and male. This is, could be these two psychopaths. One of them could be some sort of doctor that worked under the table to falsify some sort of legal documents against you are going to be brought to justice through lies. I have thieves, liars, okay? Liars. 
So I guess that's as far as your official job goes, hey, crook. So don't worry about it. I feel like I said they're being investigated. They're being heavily looked into every single thing. And like I said, this corrupt um, a person who wanted a promotion or who was participated in some sort of psychological assessment uh, most likely is a water sign, just so you know. I don't know if it's relevant for you or not, but this is what I get. All right, now let's take a look at your wish fulfillment. Uh, let's take a look what wishes are coming towards you. I see that you're on the right path. You know, you, you're full of ambition. You're happy. You're excited because you know you're moving towards that, the fulfillment of your dreams. What else can you tell me about this new path of yours? I have victory. Victory. A victory against cunning, condescending, preachy, lying, corrupt community. Your victory. If, if right now this is what you want, is to obtain victory. If, if you want the justice to prevail, the truth to prevail. Now the justice will prevail. The truth will prevail. It is written for you to, to win. I have also another card, Artemis. Achievement, victory, freedom. Freedom, you will achieve your freedom. That's exactly why you're standing right now as an emperor. Because this corrupt psychopath has got nothing. The only thing they have left to do right now is trying to set you back, trying to cause you harm, continuously participating in corrupt uh, behavior. And they won't. They won't because they will be brought to justice. It's your victory here. What else? What else is awaits you upon your new path in the next six months? Mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles, Queen, Queen of Queen of Cups, Lovers. It's a new person coming in towards you new person as well so not only your victory against this corrupt community but also by the lowers card some new new partners coming in towards you new beginning new partnership this like i said sick twisted psychopathic situation due to some condescending corrupt people who wanted simply be promoted under the table made you to put all of your energies within. That's exactly how Four of Pentacles, um, Ura's card come into play. You are very resourceful within your energy. You do not invest into a relationship. You do not invest into partnership. You do not waste your energy right, left, and center. You become very wise of how you utilize your own energy. It's, and it's including people that are entering your life. Meaning that you, after this situation, um, could have lost a lot of your friends. You could have changed the circle of friends. You now become very particular and picky who you allow to be in your space. Because you know that you are, by the Queen of Cups, have a lot of energy to give to other people. So you are become very resourceful of your own energy. Clarify the lover's card. Six of cups. Some soulmate. Soulmate partnership coming in here. New partnership here. New offers. Incredible new beginning for you. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Look at that. Hierophant. I have magician. I have increase of your finances. You come up both as the queen of cups and queen of pentacles. You could actually have um, a financial offer, like I said here, being being in charge of something, being in charge of your business. Uh, this is, could be an opportunity to have some sort of new beginning by the Hereford in some organization. Victory, protection, recognition of, of who you are. And, and once again, whatever happened was this psychopathic corrupt manics that wanted to be promoted illegally illegally because at one point they thought they're above the law it all bring you towards your stability look at that 
Nine, and you also come up as a Queen of Wands. Emperor, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and Queen of Cups. The only one missing here is Queen of Swords. So it's all about stability. It's about abundance. It's about being happy with, with what you have. With what you have. What else can you tell me that my collective needs to know about in regards of this new path and new journey? Men. There's a new man that is coming for you. New man. Some man here in Clover. Well, what can I say? And I also have a dog. And I also have a child here. Also a new beginning. Child is like a full card in tarot. It's a new beginning. You, you, you're you going to be with a person that is actually will become your best friend. Someone you can truly trust. Someone that you can truly trust. And love at the same time. And Clover is going to be a very lucky event. So maybe you don't see what awaits you right now but i feel like you're already on that path on that new path nothing these corrupt cops whoever they are can do to you they will be brought to justice and uh, i see that you're already on that path it's already begun for you so you have absolutely nothing to worry about okay nothing to worry about Okay, my wonderful collectives, this is the reading I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay strong. Believe in yourself. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.